Hello everyone, welcome to the Laravel Helper series. Today in this series we are going to talk about array forget and array get. So this is for series, uh, for Laravel Helper series where we are going to talk about all of uh, mandatory helpers. So why I am saying that mandatory because these are useful for all of the projects, right? So even I, I am not familiar with these helpers, that's why I am shooting this in the series. So let's get started with this array forget. So array forget means it remove a key value pair from a deeply nested array using dot notation, right? So basically uh, you can use the dot using, uh, you can also use this for dot notation or you can also use this for a simpler one, right? So how you can use this simpler one and how you can use this for dot notation, right? Let's get started. So here I'm going to uh, comment this out and uh, here I'm going to create a new array which contain the name right so name would be my name diet niazi and then second contain the channel and then this channel contain name value of cdn right so here i want to uh, output this uh, array and then what array i want to call this forget helper right and i want to pass this array and i want to forget this cd and uh, not cd forget this channel right so basically i passed this key right so it will remove this key and pair from this array right so by the way if i'm going to output this so it's going to uh, return us null why it's going to return us null so i will explain it to you first check that and yes it's returning null why it's returning null because we removed only this key not to this full array so why it's doing this it's not doing this we are just outputting this right and it's removed this channel key and it's returning null right so we need to print this array not this output right because we want to print the remaining array right so let's get refresh uh, when I first implemented this, I am also get confused that why it's forgetting the full array and then I understand that it's uh, we need to print the only exact array. Right, so now it's returning the name because it's uh, we removed this key. So here if I pass this name, it will now print the channel CDL, right. And yes, it's turning channel CDL. So now question arise that how we can pass this a multi-dimensional array. So let's uh, pass this a uh, nick. Oops. Pass this uh, nick and nick would be the Adi. It's my nickname. Okay. So here I pass this name. So it will remove the full name. It will return still channel CDL, right? So it's returning channel cdl right so i want to just remove this nick not this name right so just pass this uh, nick so it will remove this nick with this hadi so this name will be get empty right so it will return the empty name and with channel refresh and yes name would be empty and this channel would be containing this cdl right if you want to pass this uh, like uh, you want to pass uh, here a second like uh, dob and then it would be uh, 0 1 0 1 it's my birthday so now it's going to return the dob in this name right because we forget this only nick and yes it's running one array and one array contain this dob right so it means that now we can successfully forget the specific key using this dot notation, right? So this uh, uh, this forget is useful where we want to forget some keys. So here we are going to implement this get, right? So it's pretty same like uh, you use this for dot notation, uh, for, uh, like we use this for dot notation to get the exact value, right? So I'm going to copy this stuff and going to implement this for time saving because our time is going uh, high so I don't want to make this uh, too lengthy series. 
so here you need to uh, what we are going to do this so here we are doing this array get array we are passing this uh, array here and then we are passing this product desk and then we want to get its price right so that's why we pass this product desk and price so it will return the price of our product right it will return the 100 so wait for a moment to complete this process and products refresh a why it's returning the array oh i need to print this price not this array so let's get refreshed it's going to return the 100 wait for a moment and our time is also going to and yes now it's returning 100 so it means that we are uh, going to the multi-dimensional array using dot notation and getting its value right so hope you get an idea that how you can use the forget and this get method so if you like this series please subscribe to the youtube channel and uh, stay connected for more upcoming videos bye bye